Let's translate Acts 4, verses 11 and 12. Utos est in olithos, o exuthenithis if imon ton ikodomon, o genomenos is kephalin gonias, ke ukestin en alo udeni i sotiria, ude gar onoma estin eteron ipo ton uranon, to dedomenon en anthropis en o di sotine imas. This one is the stone. The one who was rejected by you, the builders. The one who became is, so in or as uh, head cornerstone and It is not in another Udeni e Sotiria. So salvation is not in another. For no name, for no other name exists under heaven to the dominon so given which is given among or in men in whom it is necessary for us to be saved so this one is the stone the one who was rejected by you and you are the builders the one who became as the headstone so we have this right here is feminine singular accusative and this is feminine singular genitive i'm gonna go like that so let's move this back up top for space's sake just like that all right we'll move this down here make it a little easier to work with and Salvation is not in another no one. For explaining that statement, So onoma is nominative, eteron is nominative. So there is, we'll say, like that. There is no other name under Evan. So to the dominon is nominative. Ton uranon is accusative. So to the de dominon is not modifying ipoton uranon.
it's modifying Eteron. And then we have another prepositional phrase. I think it's actually modifying Estin. So this is neuter singular dative, neuter singular nominative. It actually might be just like this, in whom it is necessary for us to be saved. So this one is the stone, the, the one rejected by you, the builders, the one who became as the chief stone or the, the head cornerstone. And salvation is not in anyone else for uh, there is no other name under heaven which is given among men in whom it is necessary for us to be saved. So utos, this is the demonstrative pronoun, usually means this, this one, with reference to a subject more remote in the paragraph, but closer to the main reference under discussion. In this case, it's Jesus. So if we look at Acts 4, in context, you can see Peter's talking. And in verse 10, brings up, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So that is what utos is referring to. Jesus, Jesus Christ. And we have a me, to be, olithos, stone. So we see this is a stone as part of the temple. This is in imagery relating to God's people and the transcendent. And then we have this verb, exutheneo, or it could be exutheneo, or thenoo. And this is something along the lines of disdain, reject, and this seems to be the case here. This is relating to having no use for something as being beneath one's consideration. Jesus is of no consideration. We reject him. Epo, by, genitive marker of agency or cause. By you. Ikodomon, this is ikodomos, builder. You, the builders. This one, this is ginome, to become. So five, to experience a change in nature and so indicate entry into a new condition. This is to become something. So he became East Kephalin Gonias. Let's get Gonia first. This is corner. So normally this would be a street corner, but you can see here Kephali Gonias. This is cornerstone or keystone. Now the entry for Gonia says C Kephali. So let's head there as well. Here's Acts 4.11, cornerstone, Kephali Gonias, the, the cornerstone. So this is of things, the uppermost part, the extremity, the end, the point. Extremity and not height is the point connoted. The extremity not the height. So he became the cornerstone. 
How does ease function here? Ease, it's, it's a little flexible as a preposition. Yes, it's accusative. Uh, it can mean into, in, toward, to. There seems to be no movement going on here. It could be an extension in time, to, until, on. Well, time doesn't seem to be the issue. Marker of degree, up to. Marker of goals involving effective abstract suitability aspects into two. Maybe that's the case, marker of goals. Marker of a specific point of reference, for, to, with respect to, with reference to. This seems to be closer to what we're dealing with. So he became four cornerstone by marker of guarantee distributive marker this doesn't seem to be the case here the predicate nominative and the predicate accusative are sometimes replaced by es under semitic influence with genus they predicate nominative so you can see es somion genite with ine Logitsis they predicate accusative is cath cathedron p isameni. So I think what we're dealing with is a predicate accusative here. So it's simply marking the predicate accusative of our uh, phrase o genomenos. Now if we check out Genome again, I wonder, does it say anything about using is? It does include is here as well. So this is become what? Become the chief cornerstone. We are going to translate it with the because Kefalin Gonias refers to the final stone. Look at Kefalin and switch it to TDNT. Kefaligonias. And it's from this Hebrew word. So essentially, it's a Hebraism. We're trying to essentially translate in Greek from the Hebrew. Rashpine. Rashpine. So Rashpine is loosely translated into Greek as Kefali Gonias. So this makes sense. Is is marking the predicate accusative and it goes with Ginome. So Ginome, we're not going to translate Is as a result. We're just going to say the one who became the cornerstone. And we have our conjunction K, marker of connections, and uk, our negative particle, and then emi, estin. And we have in alo, alos, other, and udeni, this is udis. So as a substantive, it means no one, nobody. You can see x412, u, udis equals nobody. So we have uk, udis. It's just that we have uk instead of u because estin follows. It's the same word though. And then we have udis, except now it's in the masculine singular dative. So uh, it's still the same construction. And we see here it means nobody. So salvation is in nobody else. So alos meaning other, another, different, no one in addition. So I'm just gonna say in nobody else. Soteria, this is salvation, deliverance, preservation.
Salvation is also found in no one else. And then we have Uday. This is uh, different from over here with Udis. This is a negative conjunction. It's the combination of U plus De. So we have U plus De plus Gar. So you can see Uday Gar for not for and by not we're going to use that loosely here so for there is no other name onoma name this is used of god or jesus for there is no other name Heteros. This is like in the word heterosexual. So it means other, which is typically of more than two. So other, another. And it's used interchangeably with allos. So there is no other name Ipo here means under. It's accusative, not genitive. So uh, accusative means under. There's no other name under heaven, Uranos, which didomi, this is to be given. So this is granted, given, bestowed, N anthropis among men. N not only means in, but can also mean among. Among men, anthropos means humans. It can mean man, uh, but it can also be simply a reference to humans more broadly. Now, which is the case here, among humans, people. And then we have another prepositional phrase. The first phrase, among men, this marked what, what it means, uh, which is given, which is given among men. There's no other name under heaven, which is given among men. But now, N-O-D, Sothine Imas, is pointing back to Onoma, really. Uh, and so, in whom? In whom? So in the name of Jesus Christ. It is in that name. It is necessary. D. It is necessary. One must. One has to. It is necessary for us to be saved. We're going to include the helping translation for. It is necessary for. For, and then we have our accusative, us, and then the infinitive. In this case, it's passive, to be saved. In which it is necessary for us to be saved. So you can say N here is actually not a marker of a position defined, meaning it's not... Uh, marking one's location. But instead, it's marking agency. So means or instrument, we would translate it with or agency, with the help of. Marker denoting the object to which something happens or in which something shows itself or by which something is recognized. This is what we're talking about right here. By. By. And there you see Acts 4.12. So by which it is necessary for us to be saved. So this name of Jesus is powerful. It is in that name. It is by that name that this salvation is even recognized. And then this is Sozo. 
means along the lines of save, keep from harm, preserve, rescue, save from death, bring out safely, save or free from disease, keep, preserve in good condition, to save or preserve from transcendent danger or destruction, save, preserve from eternal death. And here we have Acts 4.12. So it's along the lines of this one right here, save from eternal death. So we have our translation. This one, which is Jesus, is the stone, the one who was rejected by you, the builders, the one who became the cornerstone. There is no salvation in anyone else. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which it is necessary for us to be saved. If you liked this video, hit that like button, brush up on your Greek, brush up on your Hebrew, and we'll see you next time.